State may call your next witness. Shemper, good morning to you, ma'am. Good afternoon to you, ma'am. Just watch over here to your right. Watch your step. If you need a glass of water, let us know. We'll certainly accommodate you. Thank you. If there's an objection made during your testimony, just um, take a second, let me rule on the objection. And then, depending on what I say, you may or may not be able to answer the question. Um, and you can move the microphone to proje help project your voice into the courtroom. All right, thank you. All right. And um, Ms. French, you may inquire. You're ready. <coughs> good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please introduce yourself to the jury. My name is Haley. And what's your last name? Chimper. Can you spell your first name? H-A-L-E-Y-S. Oh, just No, yeah, and please spell your last name. Oh, S-H-E-M-P-E-R-T. Thank you, ma'am. Where do you generally live? Um, in Georgia. What do you do for a living? Um, I work at Amazon. Amazon. How old are you? I'm 20. Did you graduate high school? Yes, ma'am. What high school did you go to? Terry Parker. Did you go all four years at Terry Parker? Yes, ma'am. What year did you graduate? 2021. Do you know someone by the name of Ayana Sawyer? Yes, ma'am. When did you meet her? In kindergarten. What kindergarten was that? Um, in Woodland Acres. Is that the Arlington area of, of Jacksonville? Yes, ma'am. Did you go to the same middle school as IS? Yes, ma'am. Was that Arlington Middle? Yes, ma'am. And then, of course, high school? Yes, ma'am. And how would you describe IS? Um, she was very kind and outgoing, and she was just always happy, <clears throat> excuse me, always happy and positive, and she was just, she just brought life in. Did you consider her one of your best friends? Yes, ma'am. She was my only best friend. How often do you think you and I.S. would speak to each other? Often. Every day. Every day? Yes, ma'am. And how would the two of you communicate? In person, usually. Um, I had her on Snapchat, so we would text every once in a while. Would you see her every day at school? Yes, ma'am. Now, in regards to potential, you know, stayovers, would you ever stay over at her house? No, ma'am. Did she ever stay over at your house? No, ma'am. Any reason why not? No. Did each of you just prefer to go back to your own home? Yeah. Okay. And we were just, we were just really young, so it was like, damn. Was, was this also before you had driver's license and things that you have today? Yes, ma'am. In a job with money? Yes, ma'am. Now, through your friendship with IS, did the two of you ever just dis discuss relationships with with men, or at the time, males? Um, yes, ma'am. Did IS ever mention any particular boys to you? Um, two. I'm going to first talk about one... Was there one by the name of Kamar? Yes, ma'am. And when did you first hear that name? Um, I believe it was ninth grade. And did IS talk often to you about Kamar? Um, 
sort of, I mean, I wouldn't say it was often, but it wasn't like rare. Was it a long period of time that she would mention this person named Kamar? Um, I would say a few months. Now, do you know Kamar? Personally, no, ma'am. Have you seen Kamar? Yes, ma'am. And do you know his last name? No, ma'am. Okay. And do you know what he looks like? It's been a while, but yes, ma'am. Do you, do you know his race? Yes, ma'am. What is his race? He's black. Was he, was he older than you in IS? Yes, ma'am. And how did you know who Kamar was? Um, he lived in the neighborhood, and we would pick up our siblings at the same time. Did you, at the time, I guess still today, have younger siblings? Yes, ma'am. And it was your understanding that you would pick up, would you go to a bus stop? Um, I would go to a school. School. And what school was that? It was Woodland Acres. Woodland Acres. It's the elementary school. And that is that where you come to know who Kamar was? Yes, ma'am. And you didn't have a personal relationship, though, with this person? No, ma'am. You just knew who he was? Yes, ma'am. And then, of course, your conversations that you had with IS? Yes, ma'am. Do you remember what kind of hairstyle or anything that he had at the time? Um, no, ma'am. I believe it was short. Did IS have feelings, romantic feelings for Kamar? Um, I'm not sure. I, I believe so. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, just speculation. Overall, uh, you, you can answer the question now. If you have the personal knowledge of that. Um, as far as I know, um, I believe so. Now, in regards to the other individual, what was that, what was that guy's name? Jose. When did you first hear IS bring up the name Jose? Um, it was in sixth grade, I believe. Now, did you ever meet Jose? Um, no, ma'am. Did you ever see a picture of Jose? No, ma'am. And was Jose a different person from Kamar? Yes, ma'am. Did IS ever describe Jose to you? Yes, ma'am. Can you tell us what that description was? That he was Hispanic and he had curly hair. Was he older? Yes, ma'am. Now, at some point, did you learn that IS was pregnant? Yes, ma'am. Do you recall approximately when you learned that? Um, it was around 10th grade, but I'm not sure exactly when. Was it close in time to when she left Terry Parker that day, December 19th, 2018? Um, it was before then. Okay. Did her family know that she was pregnant when she told you? No, ma'am. Did IS tell you who the father was of her baby? Yes, ma'am. Who? Jose. Do you recall the last time that you spoke to IS? Um, December 19th. Would that have been this, that's the same day that we're here to talk about? Yes, ma'am. Were you at school that day? Yes, ma'am. Did you see IS at school that day? Yes, ma'am. Did you have lunch with her that day? Yes, ma'am. Now, did IS have anything with her beyond school books? Um, yes, ma'am. What did you see that she had? Um, she had a bag. It was like a, a square bag, like a tote bag. And what was, do you know what was in that bag? She said it was a body pillow. Does she have any clothing with her? Um, no, ma'am. Now, did you ever get to know IS's Uncle John? No, ma'am. Did you ever hear that name before, Uncle John? Yes, ma'am. Did you ever speak to him? Not personally, no ma'am. What about on Snapchat or something? 
Not personally, no, ma'am. Okay. Now, what is unique about Snapchat in regards to messages? They could be deleted. Do you have to actively go in and manually save something? Yes, ma'am. And if you, what happens if you do not manually save that message? Then it's automatically erased. Can you also send pictures through Snapchat? Yes, ma'am. And if you do not manually save that picture, what will happen? It will automatically erase. Do you know how IS would speak with her Uncle John? What type of communication? Um, I wasn't, I'm not really sure. Okay. Did you ever see any pictures that Uncle John sent IS? Yes, ma'am. And what type of pictures did you see? It was just like selfies, like face photos. What did you think about that? At the time, I didn't think anything. I'm having a hard time hearing you. Can you just oh, scoot forward? Sorry. Microphone? No, it's fine. It's natural. Just you can scoot the chair up if you need to as well. That way, you're not leaning forward. Right. Now, did you know that IS had left school early that day? Yes, ma'am. And how did you know that IS had left school early that day? She had told me previously that she was going to leave. Do you know for how long she was planning to leave? I believe it was two weeks. Do you know why she was planning to leave for two weeks? Yes, ma'am. She said that she was just going to go stay with her uncle. Now, is this the same Uncle John we've been talking about? Yes, ma'am. Did you know what Uncle John drove? Um, it was a red van, I believe. Now, on this date of 12-19-2018, did you see that red van? Yes, ma'am. And did you see that red van at Terry Parker High School? Yes, ma'am. When did you find out that her family was looking for her? Um, when the detective came to the house. Now, was that how long approximately after 12, 19, 2018? It was, I believe it was two or three days later. At that time, were you concerned about IS based upon what she told you? Um, could you repeat the question? I know, I apologize. <laughs> Based upon what I asked told you, that she was going to leave for two weeks. Yes, ma'am. When you learned that her family was looking for her, two to three days later, were you concerned at that time? Yes, ma'am. And, and why? Uh, at first, when she, um, when she told me that she was going to leave, I wasn't concerned until the detective came and her family was looking for her because I, it just felt more serious. And did you speak with the detective? Yes, ma'am. And did you try to reach out to her? Yes, ma'am. Were you able to get a hold of her? No, ma'am. Did you try different multiple outlets to reach her? Yes, ma'am. To no avail? Yes, ma'am. And being her best friend since kindergarten, is that approximately five years old? Yes, ma'am. Have you ever in any way since December 19th, 2018, heard from your best friend since fifth grade as of today? No, ma'am. Nothing further, Your Honor.
Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, bear with me one moment. Okay, so you, uh, on direct examination, talked about Snapchat and using that to communicate with IS from time to time. Yes, Is that correct? Yes? Yes, ma'am. And did you and all of your other friends also use Snapchat? Was that normal? Yes, ma'am. Did you guys use Snapchat specifically because it automatically deleted, or is that just a byproduct of Snapchat? Snapchat. It was just a byproduct of Snapchat. Okay. You guys never had like any specific conversation of like, yeah, let's use Snapchat because it deletes. No, ma'am. Did you ever hear her talking about using Snapchat specifically because it deletes? No, ma'am. All right, I want to talk to you about Jose. Um, you said that. Jose, you first heard of him maybe in the sixth grade. Yes, ma'am. Is it possible it was a little bit later than the sixth grade? Are you confident that that was the time period? I'm confident that was the time period. And when you heard about Jose, that was someone who IS represented was her boyfriend, correct? At the, around in sixth grade, it wasn't her boyfriend. It was just someone that she was talking to. Okay, understood. Did that then develop into a relationship over the years? Yes, ma'am. Approximately when do you believe that that relationship turned from just talking into a relationship like a boyfriend girlfriend type of relationship? Um, probably around ninth or 10th grade. Okay, so later on. Yes, ma'am. And did she describe um, Jose to you in any other way other than that what you described during direct examination? No, ma'am. Okay. Did she ever talk to you about him being mixed? No, ma'am. Did she ever say anything of like he looked like he was mixed like white and black or Hispanic and black? No, ma'am. Right. Did she ever tell you his age? No, ma'am. Okay, do you remember her ever talking about, you know, he's older than me or anything along those lines? Um, I just remember her saying that he was older. But she never indicated to you how much older he may have been? Yes. So you didn't know if he was over 18 or... You know, older could have been anything older than you all. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Did she ever indicate to you that she was worried about his age in any way, being older? Um, I, I can't remember. Okay. And you said you never saw a picture of him and never met him? No, ma'am. Do you ever recall um, maybe even speaking on the phone to him? No, ma'am. Okay, and you never messaged him or anything like that? No, ma'am. As far as the name Jose itself, did IS ever tell you that Jose was a code name for someone else? No, ma'am. Did you, in fact, believe that Jose was his real name? Yes, ma'am. And you never received any information differently than Jose was the actual name of her boyfriend? Yes, ma'am. When she told you that she was pregnant, did she tell you that Jose was the father? Yes, ma'am. Did she also tell you that she didn't want to tell her family about that? Yes, ma'am. Did she, in fact, tell you that she was going to tell her family it was someone else? Yes, ma'am. Someone named Peter? Yes, ma'am. Did she at any time ever identify her Uncle John, as you knew him, as Jose? No, ma'am. Did she ever indicate any sort of sexual relationship with her Uncle John whatsoever? No, ma'am. Let's talk about Kamar. You said that you first heard about Kamar in about the ninth grade. Yes, ma'am. And was that at that time, did you hear about him as having a sexual relationship with IS? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And that was in the ninth grade, so that would have been like 2017, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And was that an <clears throat> ongoing relationship that went on? Um, I can't remember how long it went on, but it wasn't a long time. And it wasn't just once? Yes, ma'am. Okay. It was several times over some, uh, you, I believe you said a few months? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You all are really close. Yes, ma'am. We're really close. Uh, she confided in you. Yes, ma'am. And she would tell you the truth about situations, as far as you know? As far as I know. About the situation where... Uh, IS's mom, Kim Moberly, 
called the police on Kamar Humphrey. How did you hear about that? Um, Ayanna told me. Okay. And at that point in time, did she tell you that he was reported as having sexually battered her? Ma'am, can oh, you repeat sorry, the question? Sexually. At that time, did IS tell you that it had been reported that he sexually battered her? Yes, ma'am. And you said that you had seen Kamar because you guys would pick up your uh, siblings from the same kind of bus stop. Yes, ma'am. You'd never really talked to him, though. You just kind of saw him in passing or from afar. Yes, ma'am. And you didn't know him. You didn't know his age. You didn't know anything about him. No, ma'am. Okay. I know you said that you might recognize him if you saw him again, but he was black as far as you're aware. Yes, ma'am. You don't know if he was mixed in any way. No, ma'am. And as far as your memory goes... Jose and Kamar are different people. Those are not the same person. Yes, ma'am. Do you ever recall IS telling you that the next door neighbor was Jose? Ma'am, could you repeat the question? Do you ever recall IS telling you that the next door neighbor was Jose? No, ma'am. Okay. All right, let's go to the day that... Um, IS went missing. You said that she had a bag with her, correct? Yes, ma'am. Did you ever actually see inside the bag? No. Okay, so you don't know what she had in there? No, ma'am. As far as you know, she said it was just a body pillow. Yes, ma'am. That was something she was using because just for comfort during the pregnancy? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You said she told you that she was going to go stay with her uncle for a couple of weeks. Yes, ma'am. Did she tell you why? Just, just to get away. And did she need to get away because she was having problems at home, or what? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. She just needed a break and was going to go stay there for a couple of weeks? Yes, ma'am. And was that, would that have been over Christmas break? Yes, ma'am. All right. Um, you said that, as far as you know, she didn't have any clothing with her whatsoever. As far as I know, no, right. Did she ever talk to you about um, making plans to go and stay with her grandma in Georgia? No, ma'am. Okay, did she ever mention anything about going up to see her grandma in Georgia at all after uh, around the time she was pregnant? No, ma'am. Also, you said that um, you believe that Mr. Quilez's vehicle was a red van. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you describe the van in any greater detail other than a red van? No, ma'am. Okay. And... Generally speaking, uh, did you actually see Mr. Quillas on a regular basis to be able to identify him, for example? Can you repeat the question? Had you seen Mr. Quillas enough to be able to identify, if, uh, identify him if you saw him? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Did you actually see Jonathan Quillas in a red van the day that IS went missing? I did not see him personally, no, ma'am. Okay. And you said you believe you saw a red van, though? Yes, ma'am. Can you confirm for certain that it was his red van? No, ma'am. Okay. It was just a red van. Could have been anyone's. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. On the day that IS went missing, did you ever see IS with Mr. Quillas? No, ma'am. Had you ever seen IS with Mr. Quillas? No, ma'am. And can you tell me how you had the occasion to know what type of vehicle he was driving? Ayana, uh, she told me. Okay. So outside of being told that he, he had a red van, you had never seen it yourself before that? Um, no, ma'am. Let me just ask you a couple other questions about the time period when IS went missing. I know you said you didn't learn about that for a couple of days, um, and you weren't overly concerned prior to that up until you saw the police at your door. Yes, uh, were you not involved in any of the immediate aftermath of searching for IS? Could you explain that? Sure. Did you help post flyers and things like that in the day or two after if you hadn't learned of it till later? No, ma'am. Okay. So no one called you and said, hey, have you seen IS? Do you know where she is? No, ma'am. Okay, it wasn't until police actually came to your door that you actually found out at that point that she was even missing? Yes, ma'am. Okay. At that time, once you did find out, did you assist in any way in trying to get the word out of where she might be? Yes, ma'am. Okay, did you inform police at that point in time that IS had confided in you that she was going to go stay with her uncle? Yes, ma'am. 
Okay, and did police follow up with them, as far as you know? As far as I know. One moment, please. Hello again, ma'am. How are you doing? Do you recall on December 19, 2018, being in the going to the office for anything at school? I'm, I can't remember. Okay. And do you recall stating that you had seen the defendant's red van that day? Can you repeat the question? Sure. Do you recall that you? had seen the defendant's red van on December 19, 2018. Um, it's, it's all confusing. Everything is just overlapping. And the things that happened from back then, it's just it's a lot to remember. So I'm just getting confused. OK. Let me ask you this, ma'am. Do you remember doing a deposition? Yes, ma'am. And do you remember doing a deposition um, where I was present, defense was present? Yes, ma'am. OK. And do you recall? being asked a series of questions. Yes, ma'am. Do you recall being asked about the red van? Yes, ma'am. Was looking at your testimony in regards to the red van help refresh your recollection? What do you mean? Meaning, by reading what you previously said, would that help potentially refreshing your memory? Yes, ma'am. Did that help with your memory? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, did you see the defendant, uh, the uncle, uh, uh, sorry, I shouldn't be saying defendant. Do you remember seeing Uncle John's red van that day? Yes, ma'am. And were you at the office at school? Yes, ma'am. And since I'm not familiar with Terry Parker High School, yes, what's the relation of the office area of Terry Parker to outside? Um, you could see right out the door. And is that how you were able to see the defendant's van? Yes, ma'am. And did you recognize that red van because you had seen it before? Yes, ma'am. And is that because Uncle John had picked up IS from school before? Yes, ma'am. And then did you personally see Uncle John at school that day that she went missing? Not personally, I didn't see him. Just the just his red van. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. No further questions. All right. Ma'am, good to see you. Thank you for your testimony. All right, yes, sir. <laughs> 